everyone. It's John Schreiber from the Schreiber Pain Relief Institute. We are going to add another one of our self-help videos. Um, there's already a few there. I'm going to talk to you about how to work on your own forearms. And forearm pain people get with carpal tunnel, um, fatigue from computer work, holding your phone. So the forearm muscles come from either side of the elbow. These are the flexor muscles and these are the um, extender muscles. So you could use a, a table like this at home. You can use a towel underneath your arm and you're going to just take your opposite arm with your elbow and you're going to start working on the muscles. You can go in circular motions, try to keep your hands still. Come all the way up to the corner of your, at the bend of your arm. So I'm on, I'm on the flexors. And also right about this point on the outside of the bone, this is the radial bone, is the bicep tendon. So the bicep tendon, of course, goes, this muscle goes all the way into the shoulder. And you, you can work as deep as you like. It's not going to hurt you unless you, I mean, totally abuse yourself, but I don't think that'll happen. So you see, I'm, 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 I'm putting my pressure in and I'm coming downward toward my hand. And you can see as I work on those muscles, the fingers want to fold upward. If you want to hold them out, that'll get a little deeper in there. Okay. You can come all the way down into the palm. When you get toward the wrist, lighten up a little bit because there's less tissue a little more nerve action going on and tendon. Then you can bring your arm over and then work into your hand. Now I'm into the, the muscles between the thumb and the first finger. We'll go around in this area a little bit, little circular motions. Okay, then you wanna turn your hand over. Now we're gonna work on the extensors. You see, as I bring my arm up, you can see the extensors come all the way in here to Attachments on the humerus also. So now we're going to do the same thing. Now, this is going to be a little more tender than the opposite side. The muscles are a little more um, taut, a little less blood flow in them. So be careful. And you can bring your arm out to the end and just let the weight of your arm uh, compress into those muscles. I'm coming all the way to the end. Here we go. And you try to stay right in between the two bones. You have the older muscle, the older bone on the thumb side, on the pinky side of the hand, and you have the radial, I mean the yeah, the radial bone on the thumb side of your hand. And you could if you wanted a sharper type um, movement, you just bring your arm up. And always remember. We love to use ice if you're having any discomfort. So after you do this, you could use some ice. Then you can turn the arm just on the side with thumb upward and work into these muscles also. You'll get both sides. You'll get, you'll get flexors on this side and extensors on this side. Okay, and then you wanna do the opposite arm just a little also. Okay, so you could take that movement. I'll just show a little bit since we already went over how to do it on one arm. I'll do it just a little bit on the left, just so you can see the angle, okay? And like I said before, you can put a pillow on the table. You can even do this on your knee. You can, you can put your arm on your knee and lean over and do this, okay? Anywhere that you can rest your arm in this position without causing pressure on the opposite side from a hard surface, you can do this, okay? I'm gonna come all the way down into the palm again. Try to keep your hand open, then turn it over, bring your arm upward, you can come across the fibers this way, or go long ways along with the fibers, okay, I'm coming all the way up, and remember if you go on our website, we do have our pain cream that will help with this. It's ShriverPainReliefInstitute.com. Good. 
So please feel free to send us an email and let us know what you think, if you'd like, or any questions that you may have. ShriverPainReliefInstitute.com. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.